This is Lumpy. This is Mike. I'm sanctioned. And this is Hales from the Crib. Motherfucker. That's right. <laughs> The Butcher on location in Brooklyn, New York at the Kingsland for the start of the Sanction Tour with Typecast, Vamakara, CU Space Cowboy, and I'm here with Lumpy, guitarist of Sanction. What up, Lumpy? Yo, what's going on? I'm here with Mike, the other guitar player from Sanction. What's going on? What up, baby? Make sure you get your ass out on tour. Come see my homie. Show him some love. Tell him you heard him on Sirius XM Liquid Metal if you did. And Lumpy, it's so funny. I didn't know your original name until we just sat down here in the van, and I'm like, oh, I've heard your name before. I think you knocked out somebody at the Vane show, and you're like, no. <laughs> No, that wasn't me. I just got falsely accused. You want to? Yeah, this just... never happened. All right, that, this is all. It was the night that I interviewed yeah. Vane, and all I heard was of the infamous Lumpy, and I'm so happy that I'm in a van. This with is him. all fake news. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, don't, it, it's all fake. Yes, we leave it to read on the internet. Yeah, yeah. He, he got blamed. Uh, false crime. It, it never, it never happened. But I love showing love to the Long Island bands, the homies of Moontooth, Johnny Booth, Car Bomb, Bangladeshi, and I love that Sanction is like the new kings for me of Long Island, Yo, just with the aggressive heaviness. New, new Car Bomb album is fucking insane. Mordial, shout out to the homie man. Greg, Mike Daffner. Yeah. Mad good shit. Well, I'm loving this new Broken and Refraction album. I've been listening to that nonstop. You guys just got back from Japan yeah. with Knock Loose. Yeah. That is like my dream come true. What was it like playing shows and hanging out with the homies in Knock Loose in Japan? It's the best place on earth. It was, everything about Japan is perfect. And, uh, Knock Loose is like maybe our favorite band to tour with, mm -hmm. so it's just everything was every part of it was perfect. Mike, you get any uh, crazy ass activities out in Japan? I heard they got the machines with like panties in them and stuff, and all that other eggs, any sex cool eggs. Oh, sex eggs. I mean, everything over there is insane. I definitely bought a shit ton of clothes. Um, yeah. I don't know. Kind of, kind of makes New York look like shit. Oh, not man. gonna lie. <laughs> it's, the, it's the best record stores on earth. I spent yeah. an a, a, like an obscene amount. Of money on records and CDs over there, as everybody should. If you're if you're going out, buy buy as much music as you possibly found, can. Found the VOD self-titled album oh. in in Japan, and that was a, that's a that's a grail for me. So. Yeah. Did you guys visit the Godzilla Hotel? As you could tell, I'm rocking my Godzilla shirt. I'm obsessed with it. It was it was right by where we got Ichiran. We yeah, saw it. Was, we no, saw it, but it we was, didn't go to it. Though. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing that we didn't do. We yeah. did. We saw like the the huge the life size Gundam. Mm -hmm. We saw tons of other shit. That was, might have been the only thing we didn't do. That is amazing. But, yep, yep. We, we want to go back. I'll go back fucking next Yo, week. I'll, I'll cancel this tour and go back next smuggle week. Smuggle me in a goddamn suitcase so I could go out there, tour with Sanctuary for a couple of days, and go see the Godzilla Hotel. And speaking of all this touring you're doing, goddamn, and I'm so jealous of Japan. I'm jealous as hell of this LDB Fest. Louisville, Kentucky, this shit looks like the most popping event of the entire year. Explain what it is to me. It's a, it's a like three-day hardcore show in a skate park? Yeah, it's pretty much just like a hardcore fest in the middle of the Midwest, which is, you know, Louisville, Kentucky, like, who the fuck lives there? You know, we live in New York. It's a completely different world. But so many kids in the Midwest just put on for it, and it was just absolutely insane. One of our favorite sets that we've ever played. I mean, I, so, that, what was it like for you, Mike? I mean, I seen everybody jumping on stage, stepping on pedal boards, probably pissing you guys off like crazy. What was it like at LDB Fest? You know, funny enough, we played that two days after we got home from Japan, or three days or something. I hadn't slept any of those three days. Uh, yeah, and it was like the most fucked up I'd ever been playing the set. <laughs> But but it was fucking awesome. Yes. It was really awesome. Yes, and you could check out footage of LDB Fest. Shout out to Gabe the Pigeon. That guy is the man. He posts the dopest pictures ever and is constantly like keeping me up to date with everything going on at LDB Fest with Judiciary, all these amazing bands he's touring with. And now you guys got this video out for Shattering Man, which is like a goddamn horror movie. What can you tell me about this video? Who, did, who directed it and, and what else can you tell me about it? So actually, um, two of the kids in the band Silentists that are opening the show tonight, Ben and Josh, the drummer and the guitar player, uh, they're like friends of mine. They're just super fucking bizarre and creative kids and I yeah and I knew they like had the talent to do a full-length video funny enough they actually did a couple small teaser videos for our album a couple months ago and once they did those I was like you guys have to do a video for us and it came out fucking insane so yeah. shout out to Salinas and shout out to them yes and shout out to Sanction shout out to every band on the tour Typecast Vamakara CU Space Cowboy my homies in Sanction headlining